Hi, I'm David Wilton and over the summer I took the opportunity to review some tenant magazines um, for that came over my desk uh, from my local area. So first one up is Taff Housing. Um, what I like about this is it's got a very clear index on the front page and also quite impressive 14 people, tenants and officers were involved in the magazine and they're, they're photographed in there, they're named and they spend time contributing to the magazine and reviewing it afterwards. I like that, true tenant participation. Um, there's a lovely message from the chief exec explaining some changes and showing that it's not all about you know cuts at the bottom end, it's actually some reforms at the top end um, for the benefit of the organisation. There's lots of people, pictures, um, it's a really good quality magazine and uh, a little bit of jargon creeps in every so often but we're all guilty of that, a bit of ASB, a bit of TRA. Um, and yeah, really good quality, 16 pages. Um, last page has a recipe on the back. I'm not sure, but what the value to me is, but equally, tenants are at the heart of all this magazine and therefore, you know, who am I to say? So yeah, definitely a good effort from Taff. Next one is from um, RCT, or as we know them now, Travalis. Um, first thing strikes you, don't know if you can see this on the camera, but cracking front cover. It's just, it just screams of take a break or chat or something. It's engaging and I really like It's probably the best front cover of the ones we're going to see now. Um, plenty of real life stories, lots of action, um, cleaning up this, we're doing that. Um, there's one story per page. Some of the text is a bit long maybe, um, but yeah, really good magazine. Um, it feels substantial. Towards the end, there's a, t there's a whole t couple of pages on planned works and Manny Genius, a tenant, is the one who gave it to me in the first place. She found it a little confusing to understand. So maybe there's a little bit of formatting can go on some of those more complex tables. But overall, you know, good production quality. Next one, Havard. Now, this has got the best index of them all. I like, you can probably tell by now, a nice clear front index as to what's in it. It's, they've done it all under things like tenancy matters, community matters, money matters. Very easy to see and go to the content that interests you. Real good effort by Harvard. Lots of you said we did, lots of people in there, people's stories. Um, and towards the back, it gets a bit more lighthearted. Um, there's some little competitions and a quiz. Um, the longest are 20 pages. Um, and yeah, really pleasing to see. And the last one, United Welsh. Again, um, high production quality. They've put some, you know, some a lot of uh, graphics and imagery in this. They've done some work on this. Um, plenty of signposting I like to see. I like to see, at the end of stories, numbers, who to speak to, who to contact, social media links, you know, signposting. Um, I think it's really important for these magazines. Um, lots of uh, doing stuff, articles in there. Um, maybe a couple of the contrasts uh, for visual impairment could be a little bit better. And probably, whilst I'm sure tenants are involved in this, I'd like to, as t Pass, we'd like to have seen a bit more evidence of in tenant being involved in the magazine. I'm sure they are. But anyway. So yeah, four good magazines. Um, there is a question being, and the reason I wrote, doing this video was, a lot of people question the purpose of magazines. I think, done right, they have a real role. And really pleased with the four um, I read over the summer. Good.